I'm James Dempsey from the Xire team, and today I want to show you a workflow that'll save you tons of time both when managing your photos and then also when editing your photos. Now, Xire's AI powered photo management software offers cutting edge tools for finding, organizing, and culling your images. But the standalone Xire program doesn't include any editing features. Instead, Xire is designed to work alongside other image editors including Skylum's really excellent Luminar Neo software program. Now, Luminar Neo includes a comprehensive editing suite that's extremely easy to use, and in addition to all your standard adjustment sliders, the program includes a slew of AI editing tools and features that allow you to achieve amazing results right from the start. So Xire has its AI photo management tools, and Luminar Neo has its AI photo editing tools, which allow you to create a really nice workflow when you put these tools side by side. Now, this type of workflow that I'm describing would start with Xire. So here we are in Xire's latest standalone program, Xire Photo 2025. As you can see, we have our image folders and collections on the left-hand side, and then we have our image thumbnails in the center, and then various metadata and AI panels on the right-hand side. Then in the upper right hand corner, here's where you'll see the various AI powered search tools which you can use to quickly locate any of the photos in your database. So for instance, you can use this find by text prompt tool here to describe any image that you're looking for. Uh, say I could look for city skyline at night. And then when I actually hit the start search button, Xire is going to retrieve for me the corresponding file or files. There are also facial recognition tools and deduplication tools, GPS tools, and more. So when you add photos to your Xire database, it's really, really easy to locate specific files later on. And in Xire, it's also really easy to select your best files using the program's new AI powered culling module. So that's on the left here. Under this Calling Projects tab, it'll help you go through a huge batch of images at ridiculously fast speeds. And you can create all sorts of these helpful groups based on, say, visual similarity. And then you can pick the best one or two shots from each set. And you can also choose to sort by various features, uh, things like aesthetics or sharpness where the eyes are open, that sort of thing. Now, the reason I bring up the culling module here is because I generally recommend only spending time editing your absolute best images. So it's often just a good idea to really do that first pass using Xire's culling tools. So you pick your best files, you can flag them, and then they'll automatically appear in this selection bin here. And then from there, you can send them for editing in Luminar. So once you have a file you want to edit, here's what you do. You're going to just go ahead, select the file, right click on it, and choose Open with Luminar Neo. If you don't see Luminar Neo mentioned here, then you can always hit Choose Application, uh, then select Luminar, and the next time you do this, the program will just appear automatically on this list. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I want to edit in Luminar Neo. And the image is going to appear right here, ready for editing. Now, at this point, you can decide whether you want to follow a standard editing workflow or whether you just kind of want to explore. For instance, you can go ahead and just try working with various presets Luminar offers. There are a lot of really great free presets here. So, you know, I could just go in and say, oh, I want to test out the Big City Lights collection and just click through on my image here. Maybe I'm interested in a black and white version. Or uh, maybe I like the idea of a more intense color graded file. So I could do that, but if I want to take a more particular controlled approach, I can always go right here to edit and then open this module here. So you'll see all of these fantastic tools on the right hand side, which you can go through and use to edit your image very quickly and effectively. So for this image, I might come here under develop 
And then I'm noticing that the buildings don't look perfectly straight. So I might apply this transform option here, and this should straighten things up just a little bit to get me started here. The effect is fairly minor, but I think it does make a difference. Then I might come back up here to crop. And uh, these trees on the left hand side are looking a little distracting to me. So I'm thinking maybe I'll apply uh, a four thirds crop here to bring things in just a little bit and get rid of that distracting tree on the left hand side. Maybe I'll go in a little bit more here. I'll go ahead, hit apply. Then I could always use some of Skylum's really, really excellent AI tools. So for instance, to make the image pop a bit more, I could boost the accent AI slider. I also could potentially use the sky enhancer slider to bring out maybe a bit more definition in the clouds here on the left hand side. Now let me come down to the develop module. And just very quickly, maybe I want to add a bit of contrast to make things pop even further. I might go ahead and drop the highlights just a little bit to reduce the intensity of some of these very bright areas where the light's shown uh, really strongly. And maybe I'd boost the shadows just a tad for a little bit more detail down in this bottom area. And I could say reduce the saturation here for a slightly grittier feel if that's what I was looking for. Uh, and, and those are just some example edits. But when you're finished, you can choose if you'd like to export as a JPEG uh, for sharing. But if you want the edited version of your image to also be available in Xire, you can simply choose to export the image to the folder where the original file exists or even export to a dedicated editing folder. And then you just synchronize the folder in Xire. Uh, so here, if I use the browse option, I can go ahead and make sure that the folder where this image was originally located is what is selected. And then if I were to go ahead, I say export uh, this as a JPEG, then I'm going to come right back into Xire, then I'll find the folder where the image was originally stored. Uh, and then if I synchronize here, I go ahead and hit start. And now when I come down to the original file, I should see the original version and then I should see the edited JPEG file right next to it. Well, I hope you found this tutorial useful because I think that Xire and Luminar work really nicely together. They're both very intuitive, easy to use programs, and they're individually really powerful. So together they make it so easy to keep your image catalog organized and accessible while also creating these really amazing edits. So thank you so much for watching.